1990, hey, Pet Railroad, hey, it's, um, what the hell is it, 5.30 in the evening here, and football Sunday, and my cats want to come inside, so I'm kind of looking at them right now, but anyways, Chicago Northwestern, I lived in North Milwaukee, and as a kid, um, like in third, fourth, and fifth grade, I used to ride my bike up to the tracks there with my buddies, and we had not watch the uh, Chicago Northwestern, in particular the signals, because they have very unique signals. You can kind of see their semaphore signals, and those are the same signals I would see on the Lakeshore Sub, right next to uh, Lake Michigan. But anyways, all that to say, guess what? Yeah, you got it, baby. I got those signals. Shout out to Tomar and the family at Tomar. They're up in Washington. I mean, it's hella cool. The crazy ass thing is, for about a year, I lived in Iona, California. Iona is, eh, there's not much there. But there was a couple places where the uh, SP served it. And they went in there with cars. Um, and they picked up uh, some type of material. But it was using your toothpaste. The stuff that uh, made that gritty stuff in your toothpaste. But yeah, they went in there for a number of years until it just wasn't making any money. But anyways, hey, is that hell cool? So I have 72 signals, as you guys know. I'm totally into my signals. I have 72 signals on my layout. There's an LED in there. And again, this is a total mail call because I just got this. To, well, I got it yesterday, I guess, Saturday. Uh, Saturday late Saturday, but uh, LED in there. Working semaphore, I go, oh, sweet, I just got to figure out where to put that damn ass thing. I go, if you ever work for the railroad, the trick is, you better know how signals work, what they govern, um, what they control, what they can and can't control. That way you kind of stay out of your, stay out of trouble. Let's just put it that way. But yeah, I used to see these darn ass semaphores here, and, and like I said, North Milwaukee, um, Mac one for all those people that uh, know that area. But yeah, it's cool. Oh, sweet. Yeah, the only thing that's not sweet about it was like they're like about sixty bucks a piece. But oh uh, well, I got to fit them. I, uh, this is all I'm gonna buy just two. I'm good. I'm good. I just kind of bought them. For memorabilia, let's just put it that way, so. And I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put them layout, but I'll put them in someplace, but. Um, yeah, they're, they're really cool signals, semaphore signals, and. I love them the best. Hey, again, hats off to them. They make a number of different types of signals and signal controllers. I go, oh my gosh. They're hella cool, and they're really nice. I go, when I called them, I go, they were so nice to me. Um, I think it's family-owned. Like I said, I think it's all family-owned, but, oh, wow. Really nice. Hey, take care of these guys. Washington. Yeah, I was kind of looking through my picks here. This is called a, um, well, the D stands for distance. So it's a fixed approach signal, a distant signal, and believe it or not, there's some rails embedded in the weeds. But yeah, it's cool. I go, that's what I love when I go out and do my travels. I go, oh, I find this stuff. It's hella cool. Okay, now this is hella cool too. I, hell, I don't know where I'm at. Probably someplace in Illinois. But I go, I love it because all of a sudden you got some rails and they kind of just disappear into the trees and weeds and they're gone. Cool. Game night, Dave. Hey, I'm back at work again. I swear. Well, maybe I kind of did a little bit. <laughs> a little bit of accident. Oh, well. You guys, if you've never driven along uh, historic uh, Route 66, oh, my gosh. It is so cool. All the old, like, you got stuff like this, the old restaurants. Oh, my gosh. It's fun. And you're driving along the tracks, too. Hey, Route 66, baby. Hell, I forgot where this was at, but I took some pictures of these engines. Oh, let me know. I know somebody's out there going to tell me where these guys are at. Yeah, another shot of someplace. <laughs> I wish you could tell where, but I could tell, you know, the tracks. You probably used to go under that bridge there, but hey, it is what it is. 
Yeah, I took this pick someplace. Wherever, I don't know. But hey, cool. Hey, Dave, get off the freaking diamonds. Come on, we got traffic in the moon. We got passenger trains. Come on, we got commuter trains. Get off the diamonds. Hey, what's your cargo? Ah, son of a bitch. Aren't you about ready to shove some cars over this bridge? Where's the freaking rails? Come on, give me some rails, baby. Okay, guys, if you have never been to the IRM, Illinois Railroad Museum, I go, oh, my gosh. They have the coolest equipment there. Oh, my gosh, it's hella cool. Damn, I'm looking pretty tan. It's summertime, and it's not raining. Hey, you can't miss this guy. Ooh-wee, being one. You know what's really cool? Like I said, I'm tolling the signals, and it's like every quarter mile they have signals. And I don't know who does the signals, but they're all different types of signals. And they're hella sweet. It's so much fun. And they're all functioning. Oh, cool. Okay, guys. Uh, I really wasn't going to make this long, but this is um, an auto plant. I'm not sure what kind of type of cars. What, well, obviously, they're American cars, but hey, it is uh, east of Union, Illinois, west of Chicago. But hey, you can see all the cars all lined up. They're ready to be loaded. Come on, load these bad boys. In the meantime, hey, they like Dave. I gotta find my cats. They like Dave's on and out. Have a good, have a good rest of the week, guys.